Big update for the US. The United States is vehemently working to build a fully functional female robot. Today we are going to discuss with you the fact that the USA is thoroughly working to create fully performing female robots and some more facts on robotics. No matter what, particularly, the robotics of the US has shifted its focus to manufacturing female robots, as studies showed that people tended to trust more female voice assistants and robots than men. For example, Nadine is a significant functional fembot that the US is currently working on and it's about to be officially launched soon, with natural looking skin and hair, as well as lifelike hands. The robot has a strong human-like appearance. Nadine can recognize people she has met before and converse with them in a natural way. Depending on the substance of the interaction with the user, it may answer questions autonomously in different languages. For facial expressions and upper body motions, Nadine has a total of 27 degrees of freedom. When it comes to people it has met before, it recalls information and events about each of them. It can read tales, present graphics, have Skype sessions, send emails, and connect with other family members to help persons with special needs. It can work as a receptionist at an office or be committed to serving as a personal coach. During the exhibition, Human Plus, The Future of Our Species, which ran from May to October 2017, Nadine engaged with almost 100,000 people at the Art Science Museum in Singapore. Researchers also tested Actroid SIT with a motion parameterization system. Therefore, her 18 gestures, such as pointing and waving, adapt to the location of the speaker allowing the person to feel that the robot is paying attention to them. Even though the researchers say that this improvement is going to make a huge difference in how people perceive the actroid, they maintain that it remains far from a natural conversation. Nadine collects visual and audio inputs from her surroundings and uses using a 3D depth camera, webcam and microphone. The processing layer simulates Nadine's brain, which uses perceptual outputs to assess the scenario and determine how to respond. Nadine is now available in six languages, English, German, French, Chinese, Hindi, and Japanese. Not only Nadine, but American roboticist David Hansen also created Sophia, a social humanoid robot. Sophia had already made her first public appearance, but still, it is being currently worked on to fix some minor bug fixes approaching perfection. Sophia's architecture as of 2018 comprises scripting software, a chat system, and OpenCog, a general reasoning AI system. The robot was inspired by Audrey Hepburn, the ancient Egyptian queen, Nefertiti, and its inventor's wife, Amanda Hansen. Sophia is intended to grow smarter over time and employs Alphabet's voice recognition technology. Sophia is built as a social robot, capable of mimicking social behavior and inducing human sentiments of love. It can track people's faces, maintain eye contact, and recognize them. Sophia was given functioning legs and the capacity to walk in January of 2018. Hansen Robotics revealed intentions in 2017 to bring Sophia to the cloud via a decentralized blockchain marketplace. Besides Nadine or Sophia, Harmony is also a popular US-based fembot. It is specially designed as the first talking sex bot, which is also under the final testing period and on the verge of getting launched soon. Harmony, Matt McCullen's sex doll, is programmed to converse with its owner. Critics are concerned that the doll's artificial intelligence program may be hacked, causing it to murder its owner, like the vengeance meted out by sex robots in Ex Machina. Harmony, according to Abyss Creation's inventor, is more of a soothing conversation buddy than Apple's Siri. Harmony is commonly regarded as the world's most scientifically sophisticated humanoid robot. A software upgrade produced some technical issues with Harmony's voice center, which McCullen operated from a handheld tablet during a presentation on Tuesday. When Harmony talks, she still has a tiny tremor around her mouth, and her voice has a slightly metallic, echoing tone to it. But she speaks with a Scottish lilt. Harmony is currently available for pre-order for roughly US dollars Abyss Creations has custom-made and marketed almost 8,000 real dolls, sex dolls in the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, Japan, China, and Australia since 1997. The majority of orders are for female dolls. However, male and transgender variants are available. Abyss has completed requests for fantasy dolls with customized skin tones, fangs, and elf ears. 
but it does not produce dolls with disfiguring amputations, deformities, or scarification. America is also working on a female humanoid robot, based on the popular Detroit Become Human character, Chloe. This is basically a thriller game where Chloe is a popular RT600 android. According to Cyberlife, Chloe is considered the most perfect android model, but manufacturing a fembot as perfect as Chloe takes time. You might wonder why female robots are getting more important nowadays than male robots. After all, both are the same robots that are not even biologically different. Researchers say female gendering of AI objects contributes to humanizing them since women are viewed as warmer and more prone to have emotions than males. Warmth and experience are considered essential attributes in a whole human, yet they are missing in machines. Using dehumanization and objectification theories, we show across five investigations with a total sample size of 3,000 people that, in general and when compared to non-human beings, women are viewed as more human than males, animals and machines. In comparison to both animals and robots, female bots are bestowed with more positive human attributes than male bots, and they are viewed as more human than male bots. Female bots' assumed humanity boosts the perceived distinctiveness of their treatment in a health setting, resulting in more favorable sentiments toward AI solutions. We contrasted animals and robots using numerous different metrics of perceived humanness. For example, we utilized the climb humanization scale based on the traditional march of development graphic to assess the evident humanness of female and male bots in comparison to animals using a continuous development from prehistoric apes to present humans. We clearly asked online respondents to identify how developed they thought female or male bots were. We established a scale that assesses blatant mechanical dehumanization by depicting man's progression from robot to human to test the blatant perceived humanness of female and male bots compared to machines. We made a female and a male version of each of these scales, of course. Other questions asked respondents how much emotion they assigned to male and female bots, which captured more nuanced and implicit notions of humanness. Some emotions are claimed to separate people from machines. For example, friendly, fun-loving, organized, polite, and so on. While others are thought to distinguish humans from animals. For example, organized, polite, and so on. Finally, experts reached an implicit association test to see if female bots are more likely to be connected with the notion of human rather than machine than male bots. And you guess it right, the result was positive. This is why the current robotics industry in the USA is going to launch various female bots dedicated to industrial, official, and even personal use. And the way America is working on their fembots, how do you feel about that? That's all there is to it for today, guys. With these being said, tell us in the comment section which one of them you found the most intriguing. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon as well. And we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.